Hello guys, today's topic of discussion is blood glucose regulation. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. The maintenance of blood glucose in the normal level is a very tightly regulated process. This is crucial for the proper functioning of the brain as it requires continuous supply of glucose. Not only the brain, the red blood cells and red medulla require steady supply of glucose for proper functioning. So it is important to maintain a tightly regulated level of glucose in the body. So how this is achieved? Before looking into that, let's see the different uh, levels of glucose before and after a meal. So the normal blood glucose levels in the fasting state is 80 to 100 uh, milligram per deciliter and after eating it may go to 170 to 200 and 2 to 3 hours of after eating it will come down to a range of 120 to 140. So it is it will come uh, near close to the fasting state. But if a person is having impaired glucose the level of fasting glucose will be in the range of 101 to 125 and after eating it may shoot up to 190 to 230 and after 2 to 3 hours it will come down to 140 to 160. In case of a diabetic patient the fasting glucose level will be greater than 125 or greater than 126 and after eating it may go to uh, up to 300 and uh, after 2 or 2 3 hours of eating it will come down to around 200 or it may stay about 200. So this is the uh, levels of glucose in different normal and uh, per people with the impaired glucose level and in, a, in the case of diabetic. So it is important to maintain the normal glucose level for the proper functioning of the body. So if, if the glucose level goes up, the there are various effects in the body uh, with the increased glucose level. Uh, there would be kidney damage and uh, other uh, issues uh, to the uh, cardiac issues and uh, other complications associated with the increased blood glucose level uh, if it is uh, prolonged for a very long time. So it is very important to maintain normal glucose levels. Let's see how the body maintains the normal uh, blood glucose level in the fasting state as well as the postprandial state. In the fasting state, the blood glucose level is maintained by glycogenolysis and uh, gluconeogenesis. And the adipose tissue also release some free fatty acid as an in, uh, alternate source of energy. Whereas in postprandial state, glucose level will be way high and the blood glucose level is lowered by tissue oxidation, glycogen synthesis and lipogenesis. So there are uh, two states. One is the uh, fasting state and uh, other is the postprandial state. Fasting state meaning that uh, the person has not eaten for a, a long time, uh, maybe four to five hours or even more than that. So in normal cases, the blood glucose level after having food will spike to around uh, 200 and it will come down to 120 range and it will keep on continuing, keep falling. After two to three hours, the blood glucose level start to fall down and it will continue to fall down. So the body has to prevent this going uh, beyond a certain level. So to avoid that, uh, the glucose is maintained by glycogenolysis and the gluconeogenesis. Whereas in postprandial state, the uh, glucose level is high. So body has to bring down the high glucose level. This is done by tissue oxidation, glycogen synthesis and the lipogenesis. The uh, insulin, uh, insulin is the hormone responsible for bringing down the glucose level and to Control the fasting blood level, uh, blood, uh, blood glucose level, uh, glucagon is involved. So this is the overview of uh, regulation of blood glucose. So there, there can be two uh, states in the body. Uh, one is the low blood glucose level and one is the high blood glucose level. Once the blood glucose level falls uh, below the normal level, that is uh, 80 to 100 mg per deciliter, uh, it will trigger the pancreas the alpha cells in the pancreas to release glucagon. The glucagon will uh, trigger the glycogenolysis in the liver and glucose is re uh, released into the blood to bring back to the normal glucose level. Whereas in case of high blood glucose level, the beta cells of the pancreas stimulate the insulin production and uh, this will result in the take up of uh, glucose by the peripheral tissue and thereby uh, normalizing the blood glucose level. So these are the two states uh, in the, how the body will regulate, regulate the 
blood sugar in case of a fasting state as well as the postprandial state so let's say the uh, effect of different hormones on uh, blood sugar insulin is a hypoglycemic hormone meaning that it helps in lowering the blood glucose and this favors the glycogen synthesis and promotes glycolysis and inhibit gluconeogenesis whereas glucagon is a hyperglycemic hormone which increases the blood glucose it promotes uh, glycogenolysis and enhances uh, gluconeogenesis and decreases the glycogen synthesis and also inhibits the glycolysis cortisol is a, again an hyperglycemic hormone which increases the blood glucose level and it also increases the gluconeogenesis and releases uh, amino acid from the muscles epinephrine or adrenaline this is also hyperglycemic hormone this increases the blood glucose level promotes uh, glycogenolysis increases uh, gluconeogenesis and it favors the uptake of amino acids growth hormones are also hyperglycemic and which increases the uh, blood glucose level and decreases uh, glycolysis and mobilizes the fatty acid from adipose tissue so these are the uh, different effects of uh, certain hormones on blood sugar and this is how it uh, the body maintains the normal blood glucose level hope you are clear with this topic if you like the video please share it with your friends thank you